when you study art, you enhance and strengthen your own powers of observation. By looking at good art, you frequently go through the same cycle of observation that you do to make a diagnosis clinically. In terms of the visual arts, we tend to think about observing a painting, asking questions, analyzing it, and then resolving your questions. In terms of diagnosis in dermatology, we talk about observation, differential diagnosis, and diagnosis. So these are two very parallel pathways. I collect a lot of art, particularly medical caricatures. Uh, I collect pre-Columbian art. I collect tribal masks, for example. Once in London, several years ago, I bought uh, an etching, engraving, of uh, a series of three figures and that was clearly illustrating a disease called neurofibromatosis or von Recklinghausen's disease. And it's a great illustration. It could be a good clinical illustration. But of interest in addition to the fact that it was a dermatologic disease, the title down below the image was La Lepra et Elephantiasis, implying that this was either leprosy or elephantiasis. And it shows you how useful a work of art could be. Because if instead of an image, we only had the name leprosy and elephantiasis, and by the way, this was representative of a voyage through the Marianas Islands in the 17th century. And if you saw just the words, you would imply or assume that those diseases were present in the Marianas Islands at that time, whereas they were not. The image tells you very clearly that this was neurofibromatosis, not leprosy or elephantiasis. I don't think you really need a rationalization for studying art. Art is its own excuse for being, and an enjoyment of the visual arts can do nothing but enhance one's life as well as one's practice of dermatology.